So the good news is I have the tractor running. I honed out the cylinder a little bit, put new head bolts, head gasket, uh, had to rebuild the carburetor, new fuel lines, cleaned out the fuel tank itself, put a battery in, unseized the clutch, bolted the engine down again because it wasn't even secured onto the vehicle at all, and uh, put some gas into it, and believe it or not, after sitting for about 15 years, it does actually run. Also had to do a repair on the wire for the points and reset the points on it. Uh, they were all rusted up and I just uh, actually just sanded them and regapped them and found that broken wire. That's probably the reason the thing was parked 15 years ago was this little broken wire here. Uh, though I didn't know anything about engines at the time so that's uh, why I gave up on it so easily. Uh, but uh, everything else seems to be functioning pretty well. You can see the clutch system here and uh, it does have a PTO as well so could be some implements going on this thing someday. Also, I finished the other screw, uh, which went way easier because I actually had the proper measurements on the cylinder. Uh, it only took me about an hour and a half maybe to uh, bend and weld that. I already had the loops cut out. So uh, as you can see, we got both screws on now. Here's a shot of what it would look if you were being driven over by it. Uh, should shred you up pretty nicely or remove any limbs that uh, you're dragging underneath the tractor. And here's some of the bad news. When I tried to drive it, it just completely mulched my jack shafts. Bent the hell out of these uh, three quarter inch shafts, both sides, pushed the spiders apart and they just ratcheted and basically it stopped moving within about 10 seconds of driving. So this means I'm gonna have to totally rethink my uh, gearbox system. And I'm kind of stumped right now on it. I guess I'm gonna Maybe try going up to a one inch shaft with a secondary bearing on this side uh, to help support this so it can't be torqued over. But I'm getting a little bit concerned about this so if anyone actually has any ideas they could send me that would be great. Uh, otherwise I think I'm going to try the one inch shaft with the third bearing but it's going to be a little bit of work to get her going here. So I'm thinking I'm going to take this gear off of the three quarter inch shaft and put it on a one inch shaft and add a second bearing to the end of the shaft. So it'll be bearing, gear, bearing, bearing, and then the outside sprocket. And hopefully that's gonna stop this from happening.